Lindsay Buckingham says he is working on his marriage to Kristen Messner, three months after she filed for divorce from the Fleetwood Mac rocker. Relationships in the long term can be challenging, and they have their ups and downs, Buckingham, 71, told People on Wednesday. You've got to take that ride and be willing to take it. The veteran rocker said he thinks a lot of relationships were somewhat tested by the lockdown, and that over the last year Kristen felt she needed some time to herself, and I have been completely supportive of that. Before this all went down, I was not aware that many people file for divorce and then choose not to follow through, he said. Kristen and I agree that is the best course to follow, focusing instead on working on our relationship. Buckingham and Messner, 51, who tied the knot in 2000, are parents to three children, William, 23, Lily, 21 and Stella, 17. Messner in June filed for divorce from the musician in L.A. County Court, TMZ reported. The couple initially crossed paths in the 90s when she worked with him as a photographer for one of his albums. Buckingham is set to release a self-titled solo album later this month, which he recorded more than two years ago ahead of the pandemic. They include romantic tracks such as Blind Love, I Don't Mind and Swan Song, which he says he looks at differently amid the relationship woes with Mesnor. Love with someone is initially built on a set of illusions and probably continues to exist with those illusions to some degree, Buckingham told the outlet. He added, I think part of having a long-term relationship is accepting that you're never going to really know everything about another person and that you've got to concentrate on the things that bring you together and that define you as a single entity and try to let go of some of the other things. We came out the other end with some stuff to sort out. I think that did make the material speak a little louder and more specifically. Buckingham in 2018 was controversially fired from the legendary band behind classics such as The Chain, Rhiannon, and Little Lies, which he later settled a lawsuit over.